Good evening, Ghost Rider and everyone. How's it going? How are we doing today? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is like, probably didn't really, you know, uh, get used to that kind of thing. But yeah, how are we doing today? How, how, how are things? I'm kind of going to do like some La Mulana for the last time today uh, since um, three hours from now, I guess. Uh, SMT5 comes out. So they, 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 they like very annoyingly decided to release it at like midnight on the 12th, which means I have to wait like 16 hours after launch to start actually playing it. But yeah, um, hey, Battlefield comes out as well. Or it's like, like a um, server test or something. So there was like one thing that I wanted to do before going on with the game and that is to try and go get the... Oh god, what is it? Oh, it's the early access, okay, fair enough. Mm. Oh, Jungle Roll was asking about that, like he was kind of like trying to decide between that and Elden Ring. Um, so yeah, fair enough. Um, so yeah, I, I, I have just like one thing I need to do before we like go about like the normal um, path, I guess, of the game. And that is trying to get a key fairy here. Ow. Which I probably... Actually, I have like no idea if I can just like get it and get out of the... Wait, what? I really... Did I really get like a key fairy on the first go? Huh. Okay, so what we need the key fairy for is for this screen here. Where there's gonna be a door um, over there. And uh, what this door does is take you back to the 8 bit world. This is like what, like, the maps are kind of like what the game looked like. Uh, like, on, 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 on like, like the, the original release, I guess. Um. So there's like two reasons why I did this. One is because there's an achievement tied to it. You know, I I would love to like get that. Um, the wait here. The other one is because it allows you to do like a very cool skip. Um, say like around here there's like a way to just like go down from this part to there we go there you go there's like a secret path so what this does is that it takes you to Tower of the Goddess in... Oh, fuck. In reverse. I probably have to just, like, move a little fast here. Um, because you can't actually see anything. And the reason that I, I, I want to do this is, like... This is, like, kind of like a sequence break... Um, skip that also gives you an achievement. Which is to access Tower of the Goddess without killing... Uh, uh, Vi, which is what would normally have to happen. You need to kill Vi, and then you need to go to the waterfall in the village, and then, hey, there we go, and then achievement, the hidden road. Yeah, see, I was actually meant to enter from like this door here, and in order to do that, you need to kill Vi in uh, Inferno Cavern. So, yeah, this is kind of like a skip. Because um, normally you're not meant to be able to, to enter from the, from the side, like from like the top. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. 
So just like try to get to the uh, Grail tablet for now, and then just leave. Cause I'm 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 actually not meant to be here yet. So <laughs> I'll just like not not be here for now. I just like do things on the way. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Ah. Wait a minute. Was this like not it? Like I'm pretty sure there's like something that. Oh, you know. Um, there's like a chest here, but I need. I think I need to open it from someplace else in the map. Do that. Come on. Ah. I remember correctly the um, the grail tablet. The grail tablet for this um, particular backside. So yeah, this is the backside area for spring in the sky, which is itself kind of insane because it's not actually connected to the spring in the sky in any way. But there's like stuff that you need to do in spring in the sky to be able to just like function in this place. So what I need to do now is I think I need to go right and then a bit more. Or wait, no. Huh. Just do like this. Oh yeah, never mind. That's like the the, the right place. By the way, you, you, you may see me like try to attack random things. Um, like I mean, just like attack like a random place. I don't know if you can see it like from like the the compression at all, but there are some invisible enemies in the area, and they they they, they like to follow you just out of reach and like attack you when you're not uh, expecting it. So if I like spot one of them i'm gonna try and hit it they, they sometimes move out of uh, range but when they don't it's like much better to just like try and attack them right then and there no. or you know fall all the way down damn also yeah the, the, the windy thing that's solid i can't actually jump through that in case you're wondering why I'm doing this stupid back and forth uh, and failing at it, I guess. So, um, jumping in this game has like a very weird property. Your momentum, like your airborne momentum, is fixed on the moment that you leave the ground until you hit an object. Or like a wall, or um, like a block or like any other like you know um, uh, any, any any other like solid piece of geometry once you do that you are allowed to change your direction oh there we go see there's like a, an invisible thing here which is why i'm doing this very annoying back and forth thing to be able to climb higher. No! No, 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 no. God damn it, I was so close. <laughs> Jump King flashback. I... 
Yeah, I did something dumb again. I haven't actually played Jump King. I think Raiken was playing this. And he seemed like positively delighted to like be getting miserable about that game. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so now that we've got the great tablet, now I, I can probably just, like leave. Actually, there's like not a lot that you you can't do in here yet. Um. Like, a big part of the the level is blocked by this statue. So if you see, there's, like, an exit here. There's an exit on the other, like, side of the um, of this path. Uh, there's, like, two at the bottom of the tower. Um, like, all these, like, um, statues that are kind of, like, blocking the way. And I think in order to get those to, um, like, disappear, I guess... You need to. Um, what was that you needed to do? There's like some puzzle in, in like a different area that you need to solve, and then these will kind of like all go away. Actually, now I should be... No, not like this. Damn it. I was gonna say I should be leaving, but I, I kind of like wanted to scan one more tablet, but you know what? Fuck it. Not worth it. Let's go back to the 8-bit the location. It was like a like an achievement that I wanted to do is like a, get like a sequence break because normally you're not meant to get into t uh, Tower of the Goddess until you've like done the next boss, which is what I should be doing at the moment. Um, but there's like one more thing that I need to g get here, and that is a piece of software. Also, I love the 8-bit music here. It's so cute. Even the like the MSX version of this game had like very good soundtrack. You can't actually play the, the entire thing, by the way. Um, like, it doesn't even have, like, all the screens from, like, each area. You can only do Mausoleum of the Giants. Um, like, a bit of Mausoleum of the Giants. You can do a bit of Gate of Guidance, which is this place here. And then there's, like, two or three screens of the village at the start, which is where I'm going to get the, the software. If I 
manage to not screw it up. Actually, kind of digging this, and I'm almost sure there's like a way to to swap the soundtrack on the main game with the with like this version. But honestly, like the the, the remastered edition is so much better. Whoa! Well, what's this mural? It's an eight bit. What in the world are you doing? to speak with him and then come uh, here. Yep. And boom, La Mulana. We actually get the game in the game in the game. Oh, reminder for day of gaming. Uh, okay, let me, let me just uh, save. So I will enable it now. Okay, yeah, if you should, if you refresh the, st the, the the stream you can probably um, see it now. Was that an even more retro version of it? Oh wait. Yep, the the game crashed. Yeah, it doesn't work without tabbing. Ah uh, Yep. Yeah, what, what I see on my screen at the moment it's no it's not there. Uh it is not there. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the the game itself uh, is like just like a white screen on my, my uh, PC, and like the, the stream itself has kind of like died. So I have to restart the game. It's a good thing I saved. Let's see. This, this day in gaming. Anyone else want to redeem stuff? Now is the time. <laughs> uh, let's see. This day in gaming. Might be disabled again from La Mulana. Yeah, probably. So yeah, this day in gaming, before we we go back to the game, let me just like see. November 11th, in three hours, by the way, um, SMT5 is coming out. Look at that. <laughs> um, yeah, so in, in two and a half hours local time. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play it until tomorrow night, but, you know, huh. wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. Actually, why didn't I put like some like day off or something? Hmm. Well, anyway, let's see November 11th, almost the 12th. Well, you, you all know like the, 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 the major one, like Skyrim came out on the 11th of uh, November. I, I, I don't even need to look at the list to know that. Because yeah, you, they did the whole, this whole like 11th of uh, November 2011 was like the, the, the release date that kind of like sticks to mind. But yeah, 26 years ago, Romancing Saga 3 came out on uh, the SNES in 95. Uh, 22 years ago, on 1999, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis came out on the PS1. And actually, I should probably tell you that after I'm done with SMT5, I'm probably going to stream that. Um, because I actually want to try the, the, the remastered edition, to be honest. It, it looks really good. Um, and speaking of things that look really good, for the Game Boy Advance in 2001, November 11th, Golden Sun came out. I would totally recommend. It's like a great little JRPG. 
And I think I have it on Virtual Console on the uh, Wii U, so maybe that's also going to be on the list for like a bit later on, maybe start of 2022, you know, if the, the world doesn't burn up. <laughs> mm. Uh, but yeah, 18 years ago, 2003, Ratchet and Clank going Commando came out on the PS2. And I've never played any of the Ratchet and Clank games, to be honest, because I didn't have a PS2. So, <laughs> um, 17 years ago in 2004, Harvest Moon and Kingdom Hearts came out. A Wonderful Life for Harvest Moon on the PS2 and Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance for Kingdom Hearts. Um, wait, there's like console releases too? Hey, this day 15 years ago, the PlayStation 3 came out in Japan, November 11, 2006. Huh. Actually, won't own one of those, which I only got like five or six years ago, so... <laughs> uh, let's see, 13 years ago in 2008, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts came out on the Xbox 360, and as far as I remember, it wasn't that great. The... Long-awaited sequel to Tales of Symphonia also came out 13 years ago on the Wii. Uh, Dawn of the New World. I've not played it. I think I have it on... No, not on Steam. On PS3, actually. Um, but as far as I understand, it's not, like, that great. Um, Ten years ago, Skyrim, Fuz Rodad, its way to PS3 and Xbox 360. It's, like, this 10 years anniversary today. And I believe there's, like, an anniversary edition also out today. Um, which is like, again, like the fourth version of Skyrim to come out. Let me just check. Yeah, Anniversary Edition. Wait, what? What? Wait, Anniversary Edition is a DLC upgrade for Skyrim? For 20 euros or you can buy it separately for 50? What the actual fuck? No, I'm 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 not playing this this game like a fourth time. No, three three was enough, I think. Yeah, never mind. Let's 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 move on. Um, yeah, seven years ago, um, Assassin's Creed Rogue, the 2D side-scrolling uh, companion game, and Assassin's Creed Unity, the main uh, Assassin's Creed French Revolution, I think, game that was buggy as fuck when it came out. Both came out. Rogue came out on the PS3 and Xbox 360. Unity came out on the PS4 and Xbox One, which I think was probably like a port or something. Halo the Master Chef Collection, <laughs> sorry, Halo the Master Chief Collection came out on the Xbox One on that day as well, as did Lego Batman 3 on the PS4 and Tales of Hearts are on the PlayStation Vita. Skyrim Dragon Rebirth Enhanced Edition, Super uh, Ultra Mega Climax Edition, you mean? <laughs> mm. Yeah, seven years ago was the last time that November saw any action until last year, when Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out on the PS5, Demon's Souls came out on the PS5, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which is like a weird rhythm game came out on the PS4 and Marvel's oh Miles Morales came out on the PS5 as well so yeah last year everything came out on the PS5 <laughs> let's go back to the game now because that was kind of annoying I don't think you got your money's worth with this day but I mean it was probably like worth it for just like Golden Sun maybe and I guess Skyrim I'm looking forward to like a, a, a future in like 30 years from now, my like, grandkids will be celebrating Skyrim Day or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> actually get to play Golden Sun. I actually got to finish Golden Sun on an actual Game Boy Advance back when it came out, but not Lost Age because I couldn't get a copy of that. Um, Golden Sun, in fact, I think I finished like three or four times because it's like that good. Um, but I've never played Lost Age because... The first time I could actually get Lost Age was on the Wii U a couple of years ago on the Virtual Console when they decided to release, um, what's it called, um, Game Boy Advanced games on there. 
finish gold and somebody kind of burned out. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like a it's not like a game that lends itself well to like repeat playthroughs. Like even like I I finished it I, I kind of like spaced it one or two years apart from like one another. Yeah, yeah, I, I no burned burned out is I think correct both ways. Um. But yeah, 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 there we go, Shrine of the Mother, we need this, no, wait, not this. So actually, I can't, I can't go any further from here yet. Um, well, I could get, like, up on those platforms and, like, the next screen is gonna, like, lock me out. Because this area has four entrances, it's like, this, like the, the second to last area in the game. And it has four entrances, two of which are dead ends, and the other two are kind of weird. I'm just like gonna go up to get the ta I think there's like a tablet here. No, never mind. There's like this thing in the. There's like the wedge. So this wall eventually drops away, which is how we make a shortcut later on. But for now, I can't actually do anything here. So yeah, this is... What we're actually playing now, it's like important, what we're actually playing now is a remastered edition of La Mulana. Um, and what you see here is like what the game originally looked. Like the very first version. Because I, I think like Rooks was asking about this. But yeah, this, this game actually is like a remaster of the original. Um, damn it. Final fight of Golden Sun. Wait, the final fight of Golden Sun is when you fight like Menardi and Saturos and they... Um, they merge into a dragon, right? Or something like that, or like they, they fall into the the um, uh, oh what was it not not, not the the Venus they they fall into like the Venus lighthouse thing and they transform into a dragon or something after you beat them yeah that was kind of nice it, it, it's also like a nice use of like the parallax we're merging yeah you fight them and then like they drop into the um, the Venus lighthouse shaft I think. Or the dragon might might be in like something I remember from uh, like some other place in the game, but there is like a dragon that you fight as the final boss, I think. Although, although Golden Sun One did also have um, there's like a pirate secret boss that's actually much harder to beat in Crossbones Island. I don't remember what his name is, but you you need to beat him to get. Isaac's best sword, as far as I remember. Okay, speaking of best stuff, let's go. Actually, no. Uh, let me let me go save first. Uh, uh, let me go heal first, because I want to try by as uh, like, like uh, as, as healthy as possible. Because what what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna try and do now is beat the, the next boss with like the very cheesy strat of just like standing on him and attacking him and hoping that he dies before I die. Let's see. Yeah, but that's not really like post-game content, is it? Because you're actually not allowed to to go back after you beat Saturos and Menardi to. You know, do whatever it is that you've kind of like missed to do. Like the, the, the game ends on like a to be continued thing. It, it kind of like shows you like a few scenes of like the other party with um, um, Alex and uh, what was like the other one. Oh yeah, I need to go get the. Um, I need to go get the Young Jewel first from here. Uh, it's just gonna be a pain. There's like a shop here. Up there. There we go. Get snapshots. This is useful for something other uh, later on in the game. 
exactly what you made in this case. Yeah, but again, it's not like a post-game thing because, like, technically, what like the post-game of uh, Golden Sun is like Lost Stage. <laughs> uh, that's what I meant. Okay, so we, we can't access this place yet because uh, we, we need to enter from like a different area. If you put the super boss in the middle. So I'm pretty sure there's like a. Ah, oh, there we go. It's like where we need to be. So this is a puzzle, by the way. These six symbols on the wall I can actually climb on. And you're. Like what you're actually. Fuck, I did something dumb. I, sh I shouldn't have done this. Uh, you, you can actually break these, and um, now I have to reset the area to get it to work again. Well, damn. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to break those specifically. There's like, there's like a combination of two that you need to do, and basically, as far as I remember, to to like get the um, like the correct symbols, you need to go decipher like a tablet, and then deactivate your, your your like scanning software so you get like the letters for mu which is the well there's like a hint someplace else that gives you this so it's like uh top left and middle right i think nope so it's like top right and middle left instead Now, yeah, I have, to, I have to reset again. Damn it. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of worried that, I, like, I know what I'm doing generally in this game, and it, it might seem to someone that like, this game is, like, very random. And... Yes and no. Uh, <laughs> there is some logic to what I'm trying to do, but... The, the, the main problem is that the the hints to like all the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do here are hidden in like very weird places there we go so there's usually like tablets um, like the, the one on like the top left like the one here that will kind of like give you hints on like what you need to do, where you need to go, how you need to do specific things. There's like a lot of nuance, but the problem is that it's not always very... Like, a lot of the hints are not like very immediate, if that makes any sense. Like, you, you might like scan a tablet and not run across the puzzle it's talking about for like five or ten hours on your first playthrough. And by that time, you probably don't even remember what you were actually meant to be doing or why you have to care about it. Which is annoying, to say the least. Especially especially if your memory is not very good. Um, and there's also the, the fact that even though the game gives you a way to save tablets, the way they're worded, either because of bad translation or because they're intentionally a bit vague and cryptic it, it, it's not always very clear which of the tablets are kind of lore tablets and which of the tablets are puzzle hints and because you actually use this thing called Bunemon software which is like the text tracks thing um, this is what allows you to save um, what's it called this is what allows you to save um, actually I'll just like show you how it works just go find a tablet now. Um, you can actually save the text of a tablet that you scan with your hand scanner. Uh, and it, it, it adds a separate menu in the... Um, what's it called? In, in like the, the menu screen where you, you can recall them. But here's the thing. It, it, it only has room for 10 at any given times. 
save it with fireworks. No, that's like accidentally just like double tap the, the, the key. So yeah, let's say for example, I kind of like come and like scan this. See where it says like record this conversation. I can actually have up to like 10 slots to save one of these like texts. Um, this one is not actually required for um, any puzzles. This just tells you that the, the, the boss is at the very bottom of the map. And yeah, when you when you do save them, they will appear in here. But you can only have 10 or I think like 20 if you install the like the memory expansion thing. But again, 20 is like very little for uh, like what, what this game actually expects of you. So I got how to climb the tower, here. whatever. Yeah, I'm just like pressing the B button like a bit like too much and that's kind of why I'm like shooting out fireworks like an idiot. Okay, so I think this is the best way to go about things. Okay, I'm just gonna try by now and I really hope I can get the, the cheese to work without any trouble. Cause he is a pain. Three, four. No, I did something dumb. I, I wasn't meant to do this. Yeah. Dumb. I, 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 that was dumb of me. You actually need to do it like in like phase two, I think. So first phase is like normal Vi fight. Is the opportunity to have the extended memory DLC? I mean, yeah, but this game came out before the whole like DLC craze, so it wouldn't have had that anyway. So yeah, if, if in case you didn't uh, realize, like my objective here is to kind of like hit that eye and. something dumb no again I did the dumb thing why did I do the dumb thing I'm not supposed to yeah I so I'm, I'm, I'm actually meant to go down there after, um, like he, he does the ice stalk thing. I'm like not doing this very well, am I? Let's see if I can get it now. I'm, I'm gonna try and like do it the, the normal way. <laughs> it's very clear I don't actually remember what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> but yeah, like what, what I am doing is like the speedrun strat for kind of just like jumping down there and like ruining its day with the this thing. The problem is that Vice surface, like the, the entire bottom of the screen, um, 
it damages me even through the invincibility frames. Oh, I just realized. I just realized there's like another um, combo that I need. It's like another combo that I need, actually. <laughs> yeah. Done. Fucked up. Should I look it up? Like, see, see what it is that I'm, like, forgetting about this? Because there is, like, a way to just, like, go down there, wail on him until he dies and not, not like, care at all. Which, again, like, not the, the, the legit way of beating the boss, but, you know, if, if it works, it works. I was like, this this game, I, I don't really care, you just like get like whatever edge you can get, right? He's not supposed to, like, extend immediately afterwards, is he? Huh. No, he definitely wasn't. Yeah, we did. Also did something dumb there. Hmm. Well, it's actually like a good thing I didn't like proceed to Vi yesterday after I was like done with the, the other place, because I was gonna be so annoyed and tired by the the end of it. Probably wouldn't be able to kill it either. So phase 2 is when he starts to like curve the laser, he's not actually gonna do that uh, unless I hit him like a bunch of times so like you get more space here to maneuver. actually meant to wait for him to open the, the eye all the way because if you kill the little limp things before he opens the eye completely they, they just like drop it I guess it's like too heavy for them or something Why didn't he do the laser? 
Like, I'm pretty sure I hit him hard enough. Hey, there we go, that's it. <laughs> that was actually what I had to do. <laughs> Yay. Everyone on streams are required? Yeah, I guess. Well, well known fact. Also, Chamber of Extinction. Which is the... Oh, damn. The, yeah, well, I actually didn't have done that. This is like the backside for... Um, um, what's it called? Um, um, oh god, what was it called? The Chamber of Birth, I think? Come on. Never mind. Hey, Chaos. Hi, how's it going? How are you doing? Laser Pobada random. I thought he was supposed to, like do the laser as soon as he like went into phase two in order to just like do the, the, the little like rotate thingy oh it's empty what the hell yeah at least i managed this on like the fourth try <laughs> Wait, I remember this bit. This is where I have to go through like the the spike room, isn't it? Just speeds up a little. Mm. Yeah, I, I remember that like he 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 will only shoot like straight up when he's at like phase one, and then phase two is where he he actually starts to kind of like be able to like pivot it a little bit, I guess. I guess we should start doing like Tower of the Goddess properly now. At the end of the day, it kind of makes sense because, like, all the bosses have, like, some degree of randomness in what they do. Especially, like, Elmac. <laughs> like a gigantic pain in the ass. So, yeah, killing Vi does this here. I don't I don't know how you're meant to kind of, like, figure it out. I guess the, the intended way was that you kind of, like, wander around until you get to the point where you get back to here. No, actually, no, it's it, it's not. Um, the door, at least in this version, I don't think, like, I'm pretty sure the door isn't visible un until you kill Vi. Let me, let me, let me see, let me just, like, load. Load the save just before Vi. Oh, 
Always, always that one. Damn it. Oh, it's on the map if you have both map softwares. Wait, can you actually get the the the, the Yago Street? It's like the, the second one that shows the doors. Can you actually get that before Vi? Hmm. I don't actually remember. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh wait, you, you can actually see it. I'm pretty sure this wasn't the case initially. Like, hold on. Like, this is, like, not always visible. Let's try something else. I'm just, like, very puzzled now. Give me just a moment. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a pain without Hermes boots or the axe. Also, it's kind of cute that, like, the game actually blocks you from going in here until you've spoken with the Elder. God. Or should not visible before you get the mirror. Yeah, okay, so that might be it. Uh, I don't know why I even bothered going through the, the main entrance. Probably because I wanted to avoid this. Ah. Uh, this tower. I hate this tower so much. This... This tower, like, the, the drop... Um, like, it, it's designed to make you fall down several screens. And how, how do I know that? There's actually a shortcut that unlocks if you fall down enough times <laughs> to help you get faster back to the top. Which is so annoying. <laughs> I don't remember like which one of the three towers has it, but there's like definitely like a door that only opens if you um, um, it only opens if you um, what's it called? If you drop down enough times from like top to bottom. So I think now I can do the the thing where you um nope I can do the thing where you turn on the the, the, the water drains I guess The other one is on the other side of the, the screen. So there is a hint to what I'm doing, but it, it's like not very well explained, to be honest. Um, but you're meant to break these seals. Wait. Oh, wait, I can't actually do it from through the, the wall, can I? I need to drop down from... No, wait. I should be able to do it through the wall, right? Yeah, that's a problem though, because I don't remember how. Bear with me, it's been a while. It's not through here, is it? No. Oh, how was it? See, this is like the. Have a good flag. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yes. Oh no. Was it like through the tunnel here?
mean it shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't remember. Dump. that up there go the coins yep nah it's fine there's like a way to go farm coins if I need them when I need them actually I need like 200 of them to get the dragon bone right so that's a consideration like 300 <sighs> my memory is going 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 gone I mean, no, I've, I've already done like the all the little all, all the little brother purchase. I just didn't like visit the no wrong fairy. Um, I just didn't visit the the, the the big brother shop yet. I I did like unblock it though. Honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to remember how to get into that shaft. God. It's not through here, is it? spring in the sky yeah
Check through here. Hold on. No. I cannot wait to get to the point where you get the charm that like stops bats from attacking you. Or just go through them. Seriously, the game becomes so much like more pleasant when you can do that. Yeah, it's like on the other side. Hey, Mana! Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Boo. How was the um, dentist thing? That was a lot of expensive good news, really? I mean, at least good news, right? To dental. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's kind of like common, like in a lot of places, because here it doesn't extend to dental either, and we've got like this kind of like um, state sponsor thing. Um, that down. But yeah, dental and eye care doesn't uh, unfortunately apply here. That was good news. That's nice. Yeah. I don't to find buying a lamp. Wait, a lamp? With a P, because like a lamp with a B is like a a, a really white thing that goes bah. <laughs> oh wait, did you actually like mean a lamp? <laughs> it has to be lamp, right? Lamp, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a weird typo. Yeah, I mean, just like imagine like getting livestock for your living room. Also, thank you for the reminder, uh, Chaos. I, I would not have remembered this. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you presume that I have a lawn, sir. <laughs> or mom, I don't know. Either way. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a lawn in the previous place, but that was like a shithole. And finally enough, it, it, like a lamb or like, like a goat would be totally in keeping with that shitty place. Because it, it was kind of like a rundown, godforsaken thing. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Also, hey, look at this new mug. I actually got it like uh, for tea, but uh, the missus got it for tea, but uh, like coffee works just as well. Uh, Tower of Ruin. Wait, not Tower of Ruin. What am I doing? Tower of the Goddess. So now. Waters are running again. I can actually kill these things. I can try killing these things and miss out on a lot of gold at the same time. Okay, 
really benevolent. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't um, want to glitch my way for that. Like, I, I'm, I'm like willing to do like a couple of the glitches for like the achievements, like getting here early through Gate of Time. But other than that, I just like want to beat the game. Um, I did play it almost to completion on the Switch. Um, that is to say, everything except. Uh, God damn it! No! 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 You know what? We got the item ferry. Might as well go farm some money now that we we can. Uh, get of guidance. Uh, that far to be able to get in the intended way. Yeah, I think it's 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 in like the um, what was it called? Um, damn, I, I forget. But yeah, I'm on the Switch version, I'm like almost done. Just uh, haven't gotten around to actually going to fight Mother, which is why I remember what I remember about this. Like, if this was like a blind playthrough, I would be so lost. Unlucky. Better. So yeah, basically, like one of the things that the item ferry almost guarantees you get money out of like breaking chests, and there's like this easy stack of five respawnable chests like right at the edge of the screen, so I can just like go back and forth and do this for like a good deal of time and just like get money to buy weights or the, the software or all that because like you, you need like a, a lot and like i've done most of the yeah like the the switch version is fine and all but i really want some of the steam achievements to be honest this 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 thing has been sitting on like 10 percent on my library for years now um I actually bought the Switch version last year when it went on sale and started it on a whim when we were on vacation with the missus in... Uh, um, June, I want to say. So... Uh, I, I kind of like sat down on like... You know, when we were at the hotel in like the evening after she had gone to sleep, I kind of like... I, I, I'm, I don't... Like, I can't, like, sleep very early, as she does, because she's, like, out by, like, 10 p.m. So, I, I, I usually, like, get the switch and just, like, fool around for a couple of hours before I fall asleep as well. Um, and, uh, like, on, on, on a whim, I thought, you know what, I, I miss the music from this game. I kind of want to try and, like, play it. And then I got into it and got into it some more. And then, like, when I got stuck, I, I, I used the the Steam Guide, like, like the Chesh Cheshire, or whatever his name is. Um, he, he did, like, a like a very comprehensive guide of this game, which is kind of, like, spoiler-free, usually. You can just, like, use it to, to just, like, get past the bits that you get stuck in. God damn it. Yeah, it's good stuff. It, it reminds me of like um, a certain kind of guide that was like made more when I was like younger, um, which is kind of like little hints. I, I don't remember what it's called. It's like a it's like a very gradual guide. You, you don't immediately get told the entire solution. You just get given small steps to kind of like help you, you know, steer you towards like what you were actually meant to be doing and. Like eventually you get outright told the, the solution if you can't figure it out on your own. Well, that was dumb. Yay. Oh well. Of 
quality of life change are probably nice. You know, randomize out there. Oh yeah, I... <laughs> was like... Yeah, there was like another person here yesterday that also talked about the randomizer. Um, and that's fine. But it, it's also probably something that I personally would never try and use. I... I'm, I'm like bad at these games as is. I, I don't really need random chance thrown into it as well. I can suck just fine without the randomizer, thank you very much! <laughs> oh damn it, why did I do that? But yeah, like Cheshire's Guide on Steam... Um, it's good enough that even the console versions link to it in their like achievement guides and stuff because the, the, the guys kind of like made it very um, again comprehensive and it's also like not condescending as all, at, at all like a lot of like other guides that are usually on steam Which is always like a big plus. Like you, when, when you when you actually get stuck and need help, you, you don't really need someone to go like, "Oh, this is so easy. A baby could figure it out, dummy." <laughs> I'm like, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you heartily. Okay, let's uh, try and fight against like the, the 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 water physics in this game. Uh, somehow this version is like a lot easier for me to navigate the water in, because like on the switch, on the switch version it's like very annoying to get out of the water, especially in this part where there's like a current as well. Does that for 99% of Lamulana deserves wait deserves the unpleasantness of like getting like be, being made fun of or the unpleasantness of like telling them to fuck off with their like uh, airs? Oh come on! No. Uh, I hate this place so much. So, let's see if I remember correctly, to get into that door there, I actually need the lamp so that I can stop the... the, the thing from... oh, no, never mind. Wait, no, I do, because there's like the... I need to put a weight down where the, the, like the, the press comes down. Sending smarters, yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. I mean, this game is like deliberately obscure. Like, okay, you, you you can figure things out on your own. That's great, but you know, it, it, it's it's one of those games that like if you don't, it's more than fair enough. This is like the kind of game that you know, um, wikis kind of like are made for. You know? God damn it, why did I do that? <laughs> Come on! Stupid invisible jerk. Okay, at least I 
went where I was trying to go. Okay. So what was this one? Was this like the, the Eye of Truth, I guess? to see things that are norm normally visible. So let's see now. How to ruin. No, actually it's not through here. Oh, you know, actually what I need to do now is like go do Gate of Illusion, right? I'm almost sure that's what I need to do. So that's Temple of Moonlight. I still haven't scanned one of the things though. So I did the face, I did the hands, I did the Michael Jackson thing. Um, that leaves... Oh wait, that leaves the, the thing down here. Hold on. Here? Or was it not here? Is it like this one? No. Nope. Why am I sh almost sure that's like you need to scan something here? Oh god, I forgot where the fourth one was. Oh, it's right, right of the dice. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I missed one of the other ones. I don't think I did. I guess we can go try the other ones as well, since I may or may not have fucked up. So this one I've done, right? There we go. See, this, this one isn't active anymore. Uh, oh, boy. Done this one. Actually, what am I even doing? I can just go teleport there. Jeez. By the way, he's like an interesting thing here before we go on. This is the only field that is one area wide. Uh, one screen wide, sorry. You can't, you can't actually do anything else in here uh, for now. And as far as I know, it's the only area that uses music, which is kind of 
weird for me like go through all that trouble to like get music for just like an area that you you, you only ever see like once or twice and not really able to like do much with oh, yeah i've done this one as well what what am i doing wrong like hmm Oh! Yeah, I guess I wasn't exactly at the right point. Oh well. That was like very weird. <laughs> I was just like running back and forth pressing the Y button, it's like not working. And then just like, eh, okay, now it works. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I hate this puzzle so much. Do I have enough uh, weights? Like 25-ish. So the order you need to do this in is from furthest to nearest. But the game doesn't really tell you which one of these is like the... Like, with, like in which order these ones are. So I guess... Try this one. Wrong. This is like the third one. Go out. Go in. Uh, this is like the fourth one. Fifty-fifty. Okay. No. God damn it. Ah, uh, I guess I'm spending like a couple of minutes killing the bats now. <laughs> And my reward is a pair. Which you actually get to use to indulge in like one of like the biggest fake outs that the game has. I, I, I love this transition. I hate the area. I hate the gate of illusion so much, but the, the transition for it is so good. So when you have the the fruit of Eden, you can actually come to here and dispel the illusion. Like Listen to the music here. This is like the most like, psychotic thing ever. It's like a yell. <laughs> uh, and this place is a maze. Like, there's like everything from like um, finding hidden uh, uh, portals through the walls to going down a uh, a place where like a pot was where there's like no indication that you should you know i don't actually think i remember the solution to this either it's like I, I i remember that pot up there you have to break one of them and go down where it was um but that's really about it. There's like also a place where you can uh, go through a wall and there's like a bunch of teleports as well. Oh wait, it's not, not the right way. It actually gets weirder after this too. Like the, the, the whole bit with like the ghosts and all that lovely stuff. Just have to see other people be cool. Oh. Other people be fools and suffer to the Tower of Oneness? Wait, what? Tower of Oneness. Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> it's not here.
La Mulana 2 is getting DLC. You know, I don't actually think I own La Mulana 2, so I... Yeah, that, that's why I had, like, no idea. <laughs> um... I kind of like waiting to like finish this first and then kind of, you know, try and uh, think about getting the other one. sure that the like the answer is like finding like there's like a teleport like see like the see the little shimmering effect right in front of me there's like a way to get in there through portals i just like need to remember where the the entrance to that was Done this. I, I should, I should remember how this goes, <laughs> but I don't. Why do I have text tracks on? Huh. Hmm. With the full tablet spot the difference puzzle? Oh. I guess like the the thing here. There we go. Oh, God damn it. So, uh, there we go. Lovely. See, this is like so unintuitive, right? So dumb and intuitive. Dumb, dumb. 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 But yeah, like, Gate of Illusion is kind of, like, built to just, like, make you despair <laughs> it's like a very weird place oh wait not this way uh this way yeah
It's not so clear. Okay. It's like less confusing than his fewer predecessor. I mean, I guess. I've, I've never actually played the like the original version of this. Oh, okay. Why was that a trap? Because the actual chest is this one over here, right? Yep. So let's see if I remember correctly. You need the, uh, the the little doll thingy to get through the next bit, uh, and you need the pepper from this guy to get the young port to be able to drop down. Want to say right? Thank you. I mean, yeah, like, it, it all kind of, like, makes some sense, but it's, like, probably not the kind of sense that, like, 90% of the people that play this are gonna get. It It's, like, intentionally vague and cryptic, and... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, not smart enough to pick up on it. I'm actually very envious of that, like, Rai can manage to pick up on that on, on like, his first run. Like, he, he realized that the, there's, like, one shuriken dropping there. Because, like, the way the game is kind of, like, structured, you don't really, like, pay much attention to, like, what comes out of the pots. Especially, like, the the, the, the second time that you... Uh, you go through. No. No. No, wrong backside. Oh, I should have picked some weights up. <sighs> Dumb. See, it was like actually the point of farming all that money if I'm not gonna like remember to use it. You're a PC on Switch this time, you can just grab the doll now instead of having to go to the toll area. Really? Wait, on the PC version, you can just like go down the. The, the 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 water path like that, really? Or is it on the switch version that you can actually go down the the thing without doing the, the whole pepper um, quest? No, hold on. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. You actually need to read a tablet that tells you that, what, like what you need to do. You are absolutely correct. Sorry, I, it's been like six months since I played that. I, I don't believe like I'm like remembering stuff so badly again. You can damage boost. Oh, okay. Uh, where did I need to do this? I forget. Was it like in Mausoleum of the Giants? Hey, Goshi. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Are we ready for uh, SMT5 in two hours, uh, like an hour and a half? I also don't have to scan the mid. Brazier up top to the fire. Oh, okay. That's like another interesting thing. Oh, uh, left or right here. Let's see. Nope. Had to go right. I fucked up. Again. Well, let's go do the whole thing all over again. Yeah, it was right. Is we even gonna get the DLC prize? Wait, there's like DLC already? Oh yeah, I guess there's like probably like cosmetics, right? You know, I haven't actually seen like the store page for uh, the game. I, I, I just... Um, I'll need more weights. Yeah, I just realized I only got like six. Can I actually get to the... Um, what's it called? Can I actually get to the, um, the, 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 the Grail tablet at least without like more weights? Hmm. I'm like one or two shots of the green tablet. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yep. Nope, I fucked up. Well... Yeah, I... I, I, hmm, I fumbled the, the presses there. Even with glitches, yes. <laughs> uh, I, was like, I mean, it's fine. We've got... God damn it. Wrong one. We've got the money for it. Should be fine. I think it's like, what... Are there gonna be like DLCs? I guess there's gonna be like cosmetics. No, I'm seven, sure. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like the worst thing is that you actually have to do like half the Temple of Moonlight to get back to there. There's a fiend. Wait, fiend? Wait, wait, hold on. I, I did not look at any of the DLCs for uh, SMT5. What, what's, what's in the fiend DLC? It's like, do you get like the demi fiend or... Oh! <laughs> You get the demi fiend, really? Wow. Do you also get like Flynn? And all the SMT3 fiends. So that's like Matador, Daisuju, Trumpeter, um, Hellbiker, and uh, Mother Harlot. Yeah, Mother Harlot. Huh. Wait, aren't these like all like high level demons? Or do you just like unlock them, like the fusions for them, I guess? Wait, there's like no modern Harlot fusion in the base? That's bad. Oh, you have to fight them. So it's like a... It's like a story DLC then, I guess. Or it's like extra challenge DLC, I guess. Hmm. 
God damn it. Only know what was announced. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like try and like play everything without DLCs first, to be honest. Usually, like Atlus is very bad with like, all, like the whole DLC thing. They, they keep adding like skins and like new demons and um, XP boosts and all, all that crap. I mean, at least, like, the good thing is, like, once you're done with this area, you don't really need to come back here anymore. I mean, that did it. But I don't really remember what it did. <laughs> I also remember in this area, at some point, you have to lure that, like, snake thing uh, to, like, a place with, like, this, like, sunlight or something. Yeah, you have to just, like, get him to the point where, like, like the, the, the little, like, blue light thingy hits him or something, I think. Because he just, like, he, he, he tends not to want to follow you at first. Okay, this is where we get the, the fairy clothes, right? I think we need like a key fairy to get them. Or not. Oh wait, no, we need the grenades to get them. Or like the... Um, the explodey thing. Because it's like one of the... Three walls that only break with uh, grenades, right? I think. So to uh, for the elevator, you have to smash from there. No, I, 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 
I know what you mean. Oh, the wall can be opened with the katana. Okay. Mm. And that's like in uh, like extinction, right? I think. Oh man, it's been like so long. I barely remember half of everything in this game. Uh, and I still need to get the. God. Still need to get the. Um, the Grail tablet. Oh wait, you can only break it, break it from the side of the elevator, right? So this is. How about the combat software? Yay! Ah, come on. Okay, now... Now at least I don't have to do the stupid puzzle all over again. Okay, so this is the... The bit with the ghost, right? The sacrifices. So... This way? Yep, this way. Okay, this lets me heal, um, kill the boss with, without it like healing all the time. Uh, and this takes me back to yeah, Tower of Ruin, where I can unlock the like this side. Oof. That was close.
mean, there are like some things that I remember about this, and like four and a half hours for this part of the game isn't like that bad. <laughs> Although maybe I should not be healing as much as I do. This gets me back to Gate of Guidance where I can do this puzzle. Um, okay. As well, the staircase as well. Like, as, as I was going up that ladder, I immediately remembered where it was leading, and I was like, no, I did something dumb again. <laughs> it's like, to be fair, this area is kind of like a magnet for doing dumb things, right? Um, so, let's see. There's like a... Um, what was it? Back through here, right. Again, until I get it right. <laughs> or I finally go insane. <laughs> Whichever comes first. No. Come on. Oh, no, wait. This is so... If I do the boss that's like on the top room... I don't fall down all like all the way down to the the thing, right? I think like, you don't actually do anything more in here. So here uh, where? Did something dumb. Yeah, um. When is it like Mausoleum of the Giants? I don't need to do this. Oh, there we go. You are a small one. The hand opens the top right wall as a shortcut to top right illusion. Really? Oh! Huh. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind for later on. Also, dumb. I, like, I don't think I have enough health to kill this thing now. Wait. 
There's like something else I need to do here, isn't it? Isn't there? This is like Chi Yu, I think. Yeah. It was like a trick to get him getting like the shield gone, right? Somehow. I don't remember what it was though. Whoa, what? Okay, yep. Actually, I think it's better if I die, right? Because, uh, yeah, it will respawn me up above with like full health, so I don't have to do the whole thing again. Likely to use the gun. Wait, he actually uses the gun as well? Huh. I could swear that on the Switch this was like a lot easier. I, I don't know why. Maybe they like fine tuned it. Gun. I mean, yeah. You can, you can actually like see the bottle there. God, can you just like? Fuck off. Okay, I'm gonna do something intentionally dumb because I want the achievement here. Uh, and, and that should be like all three. This is La Mulana achievements. <laughs> yep. Mm. 
And what they say, no pain, no gain. Get out of the way until that thing's done. Shelly. Hmm. Actually, you make a good point. Why didn't I get the gun? I think I'm just like forgotten to. Oh wait. wait. Like here? Yeah, it's here. Actually, no, I think it's like closer if I go through like this side, right? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I... Mm, I don't remember like what the combination is for this. Damn. What I do remember is there's like a there's like a shortcut somewhere here or not. Oh wait, no, that's like on the next level. So basically what you need to do is use the hint from here. Um, it's like birth, life, reproduction, ascension. So it's like uh, you need to, let's see. The usual way to do this is to go to Mausoleum of the Giants. No, not this way. Uh, go down to the very bottom. Like this. Like here? No. Yeah, it's this one. And it's like the the puzzle I was talking to Raiken about. You need to remove uh was it like reader? Yeah, so the symbols on the second row are numbers 1 through 9 and you need to figure out the symbol for I want to say like 1, 4, 7 and 9 it's like 1, 4, 6 and 9 or is it just like 1, 6 and 9? I, mm -hmm. Dumb. 
uh, and then you have to go back and just like follow, like pass only by those three doors or like four doors. I don't, I don't actually remember. Endless corridor. Two, three, five, nine. Okay. Wait, doing them in one to nine order also works? Really? Huh. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look it up though. I, I I know how to solve this, but I don't remember like what the symbols are. I just like need the four symbols. Uh, let's see. Puzzle, second floor, level one clues. Okay, so two. That's like the the wiki. Thankfully, has like a list of like all the numbers. So we need two, two, three, five, nine, right? So like two is the Z symbol. Uh, nope. 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 No. Nope. Oh, wait, didn't mark? What the? Huh. Okay, it's like, this is number two there. Okay, it's two. Three is the little lightning thing below it. Five is the three, hori like, almost horizontal lines. That's up here. Are you sure about nine? Mine is a little Y thingy, like below me. That's like the last door that I need to go to. So five is... Wait, where's five? Oh, five is the one in the middle there. one and nine is the one all the way to the other side oh hold on nope oh wait I have to rub around don't I Is the one like nine is I th think the one below me. Yep. Nope. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> Uh. 
So there's like an achievement here, by the way. So I think the achievement is to not use the shortcut that like goes from here or like from here I want to say. There's like one of these blocks you can actually go through because like the moment I put a weight down here uh, the, the, the keyhole is going to spawn on the very bottom of the area and I'm going to have to like run uh, to get to where I need to go. Uh -oh. platform to go back on this version really huh. i guess I, I was actually playing like the, the there we go it's like this one uh wait no not this one but you know. Oh boy, let's see, can I get it? Nope. Yeah, but I've, I've already fucked up. Mm -mm. Twin statue. Okay, this is like useful for like totally different reasons. Oh, wait. Oh, am I, am I gonna have to, like, uh, respawn the whole thing? Um, oh, the things I do for achievements. Nope. 
so annoying. Also, I just realized I, I can totally hit. This is like no eye of retribution in here. No. Fucked up again. <laughs> it was like a healing fairy when I needed. Ah, there we go. If I if I was like more careful here with the spikes, uh, I would have been fine. Damn you! Let's like give it like a, a try like this. So I start like this. Go this way. Nope. I have to go up, right? So I go like up through here. Drop like this. Go through here. I need to like spam jump, I guess. Hey! <laughs> 
Thank you for dropping by mana. Okay, uh, so... Mm -mm. I need to jump from like this side to do this and then just like go straight. Thank you for dropping by. Have a, have a, have a nice evening. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that actually means a lot. Even though I'm kind of like not very togative at the moment because of, of this. So like, who, whose idea was it to put an enemy that looks like a horse and attacks by shitting energy at you? Like, look at that. <laughs> That's like literally it's a tag animation right there. Oh, I forgot to break this. Why? <laughs> I wonder how long it takes for me to break and just like forget about the achievement and, and, and do it like the the cheaty way. Well, like the, the, the shortcut way, not the cheaty way. God, it's gonna be a while. So, okay, I have to ask, uh, having, like, the the lamp of time doesn't, like, slow down time here, right? Like, it won't give you, like, more time to do the gauntlet with, I guess. hit this thing so much now. Ah. Damn it. I was gonna be so close. Wait, I land here and then one jump is enough, okay. I think I double jumped by like while I was like rushing to get through. Hmm. Okay, like fifth times the charm, like sixth times the charm I guess. Seventh. 
Get there. No. Ah. Wait, am I actually like taking the wrong path? Am I supposed to just like take like the lower path instead? That just like be faster. Kind of wonder. But it shouldn't be faster because if I take the lower path, then I kind of need to do this instead. Right. Drops. Can you just like drop like this, do this, and then jump like this? Like, I don't know like how much more time this saves me though. Heels, come on, kill me. There we go. Okay, just like going away for a moment. I'm just like gonna double check, see if. Stuck there. Ah, oh, so close. I hadn't gotten stuck here. So I think we need to do it like this. Thank you. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> ah. I swear, like, if I have to, like, clear this area one more time. No, 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 I got stuck on that. Ah! <laughs> mm. It's like literally like half an hour so far. Been doing this. Come on, Lemeza, move faster. <laughs> Okay, one last time and then I'm just like gonna go keep a save and do it the other way. So that we don't uh, waste any more time here. Like, jeez. Oh! Did it! Wait. Why didn't... I didn't get the achievement for this. Hold on. Yeah, there's like no... Hmm. Damn. There's no... It's like one of the hidden ones. Which kind of sucks. Oh, I hate this bit so much. 19 minutes to go. Yes! Oh god. Hate this so much. Hate this area so much. No! Actually, once you're done with this part, there's like a, another part where you have to fight like a boss. So, yeah. Mm. This is no fun. Oh, you, th you think because I used the... the damn. Because I used the shortcut to... Oh, that, that's, that sucks. So I should actually just like clear it with the... Is this floor in the freeware version to like all puzzles? <laughs> you would rage quit with this game? I mean, you know, it, it, it is kind of annoying at like certain parts, but it's not like all that bad. Um, There's like definitely bits that are a bit obscure maybe, but... It's like a really fun game once you kind of like get the hang of it. 
Okay, this time I'm, 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 I'm gonna like clear them like the... Like from the left side. No. Heal, 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 heal. I healed. There, there we go. I need to clear this guy just in case though. Okay, so if I I, I just need to not go through the block at all, right? <sighs> it's gonna be a pain. No! Come on. <laughs> so like the majority of the like the, the issues that I'm having is that like um, your character has like a lot of momentum going. Uh, when, he, when he jumps, you can't actually change your trajectory unless you hit something solid, which is probably why I'm having like so many trouble, uh, so much trouble, so many. God, where, 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 where did my English go? <laughs> Jeez. God, I fucked up again. Yeah, I fucked up again. Let's go back. And, and, and it, it, it's worth noting that what I'm actually doing at the moment is the hard way of like doing this area. Well, at least this floor, I, I guess. Because um, there is like a much easier way. There's like one block that you can go through on the right side, so you don't have to do like any of these screens that I'm currently kind of like trying to clear out. So it's like me intentionally doing it the hard way because achievements. And because I'm an idiot, like either one of the two, you can just like pick your poison. <laughs> mistimed it. Okay, let's see. Can I get it this time? Oh, come on! And I'm actually trapped in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. It was like literally worse than not making it in time. a way to damage boost somehow to like save some time probably not though like your invincibility doesn't like last long enough probably to do what i just like thought you could maybe do
kind of want to kill the bot, to be honest. I, I I could just like play dumb and just like leave it alive, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna like come back and bite me in the ass. So, hmm, maybe not. Damn it! I did I did the stupid thing again. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, I guess that's like easier to reset, I guess. Huh. Zip it, zip, yeah, totally. Uh, unintentional, unfortunately. There's like probably some way uh, to do this, like intentionally to save time there, right? Oh, come on! Ah. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just like keep a save and try it like off stream. Um, let's put it like there. And just like do it with like the... The, like, the, the other side. Because like this is like wasting time. For not... A lot of like good reasons. Wait, why did I do this? Oh. What am I even doing here? <laughs> I thought I was on the second floor that we have to like go on like the uh, left hand side. Yeah, it's like first floor you have to go right once, second floor you have to go left once. Uh... Okay, so like the the smart way of doing things is to come down here, do this, don't don't even care about the, the enemies, and just like drop down. Easy. Feel the need that you could if you can like use the, 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 the zip. I mean if I if I had like any idea on how to like trigger it normally then I, I might be interested in finding out as well. But I do not. God. Oh, I should have waited to get the, the healing fairy, you know? No, uh, it's one of the ones that don't die. Uh. Yep. I actually think this is like as good a time as any to call it today. I'm just, like getting close call after close call after close call. Jeez.
I actually did want to just like wait until at least midnight to see if uh, SMT5 is gonna get uh, like midnight release. Probably if not live yet. It's like GMT minus two. So let's see. Check if we can play checking. You cannot play this software yet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, SMT5 doesn't work yet. I wonder if it's gonna be like 12, uh, like midnight local. Or if they're gonna use like London time or something. 12.01. Well, yeah. Y y you know what I mean. Uh... Is there like anything I could like go do fast? Oh, you know what I could do fast? Um, hold on. Temple of the Sun. Uh, unlock by local time in Europe. Really? Huh. That's good. It kind of pains me that I, I can't. Uh, can't. Um. It was in Japan. Yeah, fair enough. Because <laughs> you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, I mean, that's like fair enough. I'm just like getting a bit excited uh, about like like all of the things. So that means like places that like it's still, uh, it's already like activated, right? Oh, I guess we get like Lemeza's Talisman. Just like get the, the the mantra hints. Actually, you know what? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget about them, I will um, store these. Actually, fourth mantra, right? There we go. Four. Third. People in Russia might be having it. Yeah, I mean, probably. Second, first, second, third, fourth, uh, like fifth, six. Have the same time zone as Finland. Yes, I do. Seven. The last month is the side of the card. Okay, we, we saved this just in case. Oh, you know what? I could use like Toru to um, go scan the thing in uh, Chamber of Extinction. Uh, where was it now? This way, right? Wait. What? No. Wait, I can't scan it? Or no, it's not this way. Oh, yeah, you. Wait, you have to enter through the other side, right? But, like, not through here. A long way before I can get this. Wait, so I can't actually do this? Oh, wait, I have to light it up first. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Hmm. See, this is like the tricky bit when you remember things out of order like this. You know what? Since... I'm not gonna be doing much of anything else at the moment. How about I... Give that achievement another try. Be like a nice way to cut off the stream like five more minutes
item fairy. Damn, damn, damn. That's like not the one that I wanted. Oh well. Nope. Fucked up. Can you just clipping to get the achievement? Huh. Okay. So if I remember correctly, well, well done, by the way, for like being so fast at it. If I remember correctly, you have to use like the grapple, right, to like do the the, the, the creeping glitch. Or not. something like this and I, I, I don't I don't know like I've, I've seen like people speedrun this but I don't really have like any understanding on how they do what they do but hey enjoy the achievement though <laughs> Straight down the ones you hit the ground top right and either hold up or use an item or smear weapon on the same frame. Swing up until after I landed. Wait. Hold up and swing at the same frame.
Oh, hold towards the wall and swing. on the floor, yeah. it only wants to the right, so like this. Hmm. Actually, like a different wall might be a bit easier to do this on. There I had it once? Really? Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you for explaining that. That, 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 that. Oh, that that's gonna break things. Ooh. <laughs> now, <laughs> I really want to try this and see if like, you can actually do the achievement with it. God. Although still, like having like 14 seconds to do it, it might be just like a bit too much at the moment. Sometimes you get shot off in other places. Oh yeah, that's right. That's. Hmm. I wonder if like jungle robot is here. <laughs> he would be like very interested in seeing this. He's like probably off like playing Forza or something. Okay, so I do it like this. I think with the, with the whip, it feels like slightly... No? No. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. It's really easy to do accidentally and get the wrong word. So, which is why they changed that room from a jumping climb to a ladder. Huh, okay. Okay, what, what, what if I do it here? My god, that breaks like so many things. <laughs> so hold on, can I actually no you can actually grab hold on all these? You can skip the two three yeah I guess. And uh, probably you couldn't like do it here. I'm like very curious to like try this all over the place now. <laughs> uh yeah I'm kind of dumb like that. Thank you. 
god, this is... Oh no. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm never using it like that again. So the glitches and clips are fun. Let me guess, like a few that can break the game. <laughs> god. This is fun. Me person with no restrictions down to the human time just follow for means. Yeah, I know about that. That's like the, the the memory corruption thing with the shield, right? Where they Yep, they they, they mess up the like the, the memory allocation in the game. And it, it ends up like forcing the uh, forcing you to get like get loaded in the escape sequence right after the the, the, the mother fight, I guess. I think I've seen like a like a how-to for this, but it's like, as far as I understand, it's like like frame perfect, uh, and I yeah exactly. You you kind of like force the shop menu to stay open even if you're outside the shop, and then you do something with the shield because it's like at the right like memory pointer. When you clip into the ruins and you go to the exit. Yeah, I, I, I've seen I've seen this uh, this speed run. <sighs> Let me just like kill these. I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. I, I just like out of you know. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Record time! <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, I did do it the legit way, but the, the, the game triggered the, the shortcut being used so it wouldn't let me. So I, I feel like justified that I, I actually did it the, the, the proper way as well. So hold on, you can actually... Oh wait, no, because it's like spikes here, right? It wouldn't work. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I I am very amused by this. <laughs> Thank you for. <laughs> oh god. Oh wow. God damn it. Wait, is this called the raindropping? Oh, is this what? Oh, is this what like the, there's like a, there's like someone else in, 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 in the stream yesterday and he was like telling me like, like I should probably like learn how to raindrop. Is this what it's called? Yeah, that's what his name is, Rainbow Dry. Uh, Raindrop Dry, sorry. Hmm. It's okay. There's like another level after this. I. Oh, wait. Oh! Wait, this one won't let me. I'm like very curious to see how this goes, really. Yep, back to the surface. Like, it kind of like makes sense. Because like the rooms below those are like the boss 
areas and those are like kind of like different somehow. You have to just like do the back and forth thing with the like drag one boss to the other boss and I was like ki kill the many eyes in the presence of blah 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 blah. <laughs> Uh, but that was so amusing. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't, re I didn't realize it was like this easy to to do like the warps here. Hey, you know, I'm just like gonna save here. I think that's it for today. And probably a good time to check if the game is now unlocked since I'm pretty sure also Goshi wants to do now oh a new update is available so yeah it, it, it is like you have to download the the activation thing now yeah it, it, it is available well it it it's like updating so Oh my god, am I gonna have to wait like 18 hours now <laughs> to play this? I really just like gonna like shut down the stream and just like go play right now. <laughs> ah, the other things that I do for streaming. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 gonna show restraint and not start this now. Because I I, I specifically bought this day one to stream it. So I am not going to play it until tomorrow. No. But um, tomorrow night, then Saturday morning, and then probably Sunday, I'm going to be just like doing SMT5. I just like need to get out of my system at this point. Very few of your giant robots that came out two weeks ago. Wait, giant robots? Wait, it was like a game with giant robots? Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm not like very good with like new releases. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I, I can't remember. Oh, Super Robot Wars. That's right, like Ghost Rider was talking about that. It's like the 30th anniversary thing, right? Right? Uh, right? Blah, blah, right, right. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. SMT5 is starting. Uh oh. It's like. Close it. <laughs> Close it. It's like gonna leave the switch there, dock in the, the cradle, and not touch it until tomorrow. I'm just like not going to do it. Hey, Jungle Robot. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Like, check it out. I I, 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 I got taught a new trick today from um, Chaos. <laughs> uh, and since you, you, you are into speedrunning, you might enjoy this. Let me just like show you. SMT5 is out uh, since 16 minutes ago. Well, it, it's supposed to be like midnight local, so... So, Jungle Robot is in, I think, like, Germany, so that would be... One hour, like, after me, so it's like, it, it should unlock in, like, 45 minutes-ish. Well, yeah, I, I couldn't... I, like, I wanted to stream this day one, so I got the digital version. Um, and honestly, I, I tend to buy digital because, you know, I, I prefer that. Wait, did I get the, the item fair again? Okay, so um, I, I got taught a trick, and I want to show it off because it's very amusing. So, I... What was it called? Raindropping? Right? <laughs> yep. Chaos over here was... You can't do it? Well, I can't do it. Like, if I, if I can't do it, then you can do it for sure. It's like grab hold, drop down, ride an attack, and then that's it. Hey, I can actually do it semi-consistently now. Oh, I'm getting the spikes. Well done. <laughs> Have I tried to learn it yet? Yeah, it, it's surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Oh, 
By the way, I, I am currently just playing uh, this because I'm like very tempted to go just like start as MT5. Okay, so we need to get this guy to follow me around. Uh, anyone actively speedrunning the game currently? I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know, but I mean, why not? Mutating it into transition walking and screen machine. I have no idea what that is. I hate the bots. I don't actually think I have enough health to like do the boss at the moment. I'm like probably gonna get hit a bunch. No, but fine. I'm out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, I get if you get hit, you just like, violently get expelled out of the ground. I guess. Wait, that doesn't work? Hmm. Wait, I'm doing something with one eye first. Wait, I have to drag him. I forget how this goes. So you have to kill one in the presence of the other. And then you have to drag him back to the other side. Wait, is that right? I have to kill like the one I first. Doesn't I do in the shrine of the mother? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's like very amusing. I like it. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't do this here. Oh, hit the days. Right. I need. I need to do like the hit the the mural on the wall. I'm just like gonna try this on like every wall, you know. <laughs> this is like probably the, 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 the like the first actual like speedrun thing that I've ever done, excluding like stuff like Braid or DLC quests where they have like like speedrunning achievements. But that's just like you know, uh, not not really like doing like much with like glitches and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it for today, though. Like, we were gonna, li like, leave other things for later. Uh, so, I need to get the grenades, the katana. Um, what is, what is, like, the, the grenades, the katana. There's, like, one more sub-weapon here, I think. Then there's the jet pillar. There's the magatama. There's the... Uh, Oh, the potions like at right at the end. Um, just like so many things that I need to get. Actually, you know, before I'm done, I kind of want to like do the something like a bit tricky so I don't have it for like next time. Uh, I, I want to try and like go do like the poison part of the the maze.
So let's see, I need to drop down from here. Go in this place. Um, God, what was the, the next step? Yeah, never mind. Grenades are not redundant. I still want to get everything though. I mean, it's like it's like one of the reasons that I play these kinds of games is like collect everything. I don't really like plan on just like glitching my way through the entire game. Also, I just like remembered uh, because we reset, I didn't get Lemeza's uh, dad's uh, like amulet or like talisman or whatever. Also, it's quite interesting. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, in the previous screen, the first time I was around, you could just like barely see Lemeza's dad just like go through in the distance just before you. Which like he's coming here to destroy the um, the Sphinx. Okay, let's see. Punemon. First. Second. Yeah, he was. He he's also like in spring in the sky when you go to like unplug the um, god that thing. I think you can actually see him like running on, on like the, the top of the screen in that one. Going now. Have a nice evening, Goshi. And um, I guess I'm not gonna see you in like a while. So uh, have fun with SMT5 when it comes out, I guess. And looking forward to like in like a month's time to just like discuss stuff about like like good demon builds and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> when uh, when you've had time to kind of like get through the game, might see you. I mean, but yeah, like probably not like a lot, right? Because you you should like avoid spoilers and stuff. I'm playing it tonight. Wait, I thought you were getting the. Oh, you also got the digital. I thought you were waiting to get like the collector's edition. My. Misremembering? Oh, you got both! <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I kind of like had to stop like getting duplicates of my, my stuff. Because like I'm, I'm at the point like some games I have them like four to five times like and I, it, it, it just feels bad. Honestly. Oh, this is... I'm just, like, resetting. Hobby gets delivered second of the, uh, it's December. Ooh, that's a lot. Usual gameplay, you didn't get to see him there. Yeah, but because it's, like, dark, right? You, like, if, if to see him, you have had to go to... Um, what's it called? You probably have to go to, like, uh, the... Um... Uh, you have to go through a like, gate of time to uh, activate the the, 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 the goddess uh, tower before you kill Vi. Shit. Uh, I did something dumb. I don't think I have enough time. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Uh, and you have to do both of them on like the same sequence, I think. Yeah, but you certainly have to light up Goddess really early. Yeah, you have to go through, like, um, Chamber of Extinction, then go through Gate of Time and, like, uh, go through the, the, the hidden thing in, like, the 8-bit mausoleum. Has you... Wait, has... No, but because you have to, like... You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't pass by the screen that has, like, the horizontal tube, though. Um, normally you, you just like drop down the middle tower of the three, right? I mean, I, I, I did that like earlier in the stream. I I could probably just like load up the the, the VOD or something. You do but in the dark? Huh, okay, fair enough. I was like pretty sure that's like the one. Hey, there we go. 
The sadness of the twins has vanished. Yay. Now we get the other uh, Grail tablet. Wait, how do you activate this? I'm pretty sure there's like a way to do this. Ah! Probably puzzle. Oh, okay. I guess it's like on the on the other half of the. So I haven't really like explored the like the tower. I, I should probably just like do it for the uh, get the bone at least. Like I, I I've done the, the the twin statues here, so I got the ank out. That's like one thing. Don't have them up though. Hmm. At least now I can like go from front to back, so I just like use these to get around. So let's see. Actually, you know, like lighting the faces of like the, the two statues is probably what like what like tripped me up the most about this area. So like how was I supposed to figure this out? Like okay, lighting up the um uh lighting up the uh, what's it called? The God, I forget what they're called. Like the the little lanterns on like Gate of Guidance is like one thing. Yeah, I mean there is a hint, but like I would never think that you have to just like shoot flares in in, in like their faces. It's also it's also like not very um, like it's like kind of like precise the, the 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 angle that you need to hit it with. So. Yeah, it's... it's mm. I don't like that. <laughs> I know there's, like, hints for, like, mostly everything in the game. Like, even, even like, the mantras puzzle. Oh. Hey. You can do that in this version of the of me. Like, the twin space. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, in, in this version, I just, like, remembered from, like, the Switch version and did it, to be honest. Uh, it's, like, a lot of things that I, I did before I was supposed to. Um, just because, like, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. I should probably do so-and-so. So this goes to Tower of the Goddess? No, Shine of the Mother. Okay, this, however, I think is like the second tablet. No, never mind. No, it's not this one. Oh. Like no, uh, uh, which puzzle is that? 
Like out of curiosity mostly, to be honest. I like probably done it in the Switch version. the leaning pillar like where you have to grapple on and just like make it drop right yeah i remember that one okay so yeah this is the the, the, the little volcano thing okay fair enough it's okay i'm just like again I'm, i i need to go to bed uh i'll just like go find the the big brother's shop and then i'll go to bed Time a double jump. Oh, so like the, the trigger is just like you sitting there for like a few seconds. Oh, come on. Yeah, it has like the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of like figured. Like when you said you can just like stay there until... Mm -hmm. That's like kind of like dumb though. Also, I'm pretty sure like one of these has like a thing behind it, like here. Hold on. Hey, we got the, the ring. This has something to do with sub weapons, I think. Let's see. Ring was... Yeah, because your mind is better at throwing weapons, yeah. Oh, there we go. Suddenly Chakra one busted. Yeah. I mean, I should probably try and like do the thing where you like duplicate them with the item fairy. So like, I don't know if this like still works, but I, I saw like a video where like someone would just uh, just like get the item fairy, then stand in front of a wall and like throw chakrams. And like when they drop down to the uh, to the like, well to the floor, actually, you can actually pick up three when you've only thrown like one. At least I remember something still. God. Ah. Might not be like a lot of things, but. And I still can't remember how to get to the Big Brother's shop. Which is like kind of like what, what's like eating me. <laughs> at the moment. Oh, wait. Nope. It's like this is like hands down, maybe like the worst area to navigate if your like sense of direction isn't that great. Like on the Switch version, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I spent at, like, at least like an hour in here trying to get around to um, like do the the little like the, the, the witch thing 
One rob, one right. Yeah, it's like the that's like the the, the, the thing I'm trying to get into. It's like keep getting knocked out. Uh knocked down, sorry. Wait from the room. It's like through here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Found it finally. Wait, it's only like a hundred? Why do I think it was like more expensive to get the the skull? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no, hold on. I, I need to get to the other side and just, like, press the... the switch, right? It's, like, through here. Like I said, my sense of direction is not really good, especially when I'm kind of like half asleep already. There, see, that's, the, that's that's where I need to go. So, so they're like inverted. So I need to go. Oh, okay. Like one room to the right of here. Nope. I'm actually wasting time here, but... No, 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 come on. I think we're good for today, honestly. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm not functional at the moment. It's like almost 1 a.m. <sighs> I 
Okay, I think this is it for today, really. Um, thank you, thank you for uh, sticking around, and thank you to Chaos for like showing me like a couple of uh, tricks. Um, so yeah, like for the foreseeable future, it's gonna be like SMT5. I still need to do the retro stuff, but I think I'm gonna take like a week off of that and uh, just like um, dig into that. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was like a lot of fun. I actually need to remember to export the VODs after this because I, I, I do want to finish La Mulana on stream at some point. But yeah, like SMT5 has been like a long time coming, so I kind of like want to, you know, get in on that while it's like still fresh. And while there's like not a lot of people around to spoil it for me. So we're going to do that tomorrow and probably Saturday and Sunday as well. Um, yeah, we, we, like, we'll, we'll see from that. It, it, it depends what's going to happen after that. Um, I, I definitely need to do like a bit more of like the, the retro space shooters over like the next few weeks. Uh, still need to do like... Uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, there's Descent Free Space. Hmm. There's like a few things, so we can get in a fire game to hang around here. I mean, yeah, I like I, I did consider like waiting for like a week to give like everyone that is gonna play it like some time to just like get through it. But I I just like it's it's been years since I've actually played a game on launch and was kind of like you know, not Kind of like figuring things out on my own, you know? It's like a... It's like a... Oh! Hey, Chaos! Thank you for the follow! Jade Nocturne, I'll explain a little bit. Oh. I mean... Yeah, but... It, it's like a new game. That's like the thing. It's not like a 20-year-old game or something. This is like... Like like, like like I've been saying, it's been like a very, very, very long time since I've played something on launch. Usually I just like wait for a sale because it's like a gigantic backlog of stuff and I, I don't really buy new games anymore uh, <laughs> but yeah I, I I am definitely coming back to La Mulana after that and I also need to do you know all the let's see the command I think still works it's like uh, Descent Free Space there's like uh, Rogue Squadron and what else was there Like there's like one more game that I put up there let me just like check the spreadsheet. Uh, Descent three. Okay, yeah, there's that one. Uh, but I, I guess like a, like next next weekend, not like tomorrow, but like the weekend after that. Like I, I would have just like gotten far enough in SMT five to not like worry that much. And yeah, um, thanks very much for tuning in. I, I just like I I loved learning the the glitch there. I, I've never actually done speedrunning stuff, so it might, that was amusing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, have a lovely rest of the week. Just be around for these parts of the SMT streams. Hey! Woohoo, I guess. <laughs> um, I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to try like stream as much of it as possible. Like, I, 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 actually, no, the promise is I'm going to try to not play it off stream at all. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like a much harder challenge, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, have a lovely rest of the evening. Thanks everyone for tuning around. Uh, let me see if anyone is live at the moment. Go say hi. It's like, is Millie Mage around or live or something? He should be. He usually is. Nope. He is not. For shame. Okay, then, uh, good night, and I need to leave. I probably need to not, not, not take the switch with me to bed. <laughs> uh, I, I, like, you can actually see, like, the SMT icon there, and I'm like, <laughs> must, must say no. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, take it to work with me and play there. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
good night and um, I'll see you around soon. <laughs> <laughs>